Welcome back, survivors. I'm the survival this, and we return to Wrath with our first ever face cam included in the video. Now, I probably will be looking a little bit over to the right here just to make sure the recording and all the frame rate is. Looks like it's picking up good, so. Everything's doing okay, still tinkering about trying to figure out the best combination to exactly work with there. And trying to remember. Okay. Actually, this is something. Um. That I looked up to try to figure out the way to solve it. It turns out you have to have both the, I guess this is the receiver or something. Uh, like that. Those two on the same level. Too close to receive. Oh, damn it. And now that has to be a certain distance away, it seems. Okay, overall, though, we at least can make progress with that now. However, to do that, we're probably going to need some wood, so... It's a good thing we are docked at this island here. Go up, get some wood. Um... I don't think we have to worry about the shark too greatly. Just because we're working mostly above water right now. So I got that tree. Let's go get this one. Three, four, five is the number that kind of does it. Oh, that said, pick up. Oh, there might actually be need to pick up planks. So, oh, what's down here? Yeah, there's a plank. Okay, so now that we got that, we can go harvest the rest or the last tree. Get all the wood from that. There we are. And with that, we'll hopefully be able to build out more space for the raft here. Although, it might be... Uh oh actually kind of hard to get up onto it, but... Okay, so we need to basically expand out so that way this has another level to it. So I think we'll need more pillars. And let's get ourselves a wooden floor. And honestly, I may even try putting stairs right here, too. Does that connect? Kind of. Okay, so that's there. And now I need more pill. Man, we're already almost out of wood. Good lord, we go through it quickly. Okay, well, you know what? Let's dump some of what we have into our chests. Uh, I thought I had coconuts. There we go. That there. Ah, uh, that I guess we can hold on to. Is there anything else to... Well, you know what? I can cut this one down too. So let's get this last tree, get the planks off there, and see how we're doing for wood. But we're probably going to have to, again, drift for quite a while. So, do do, -do And... Oh lord, that is filling up incredibly so... Ah, uh, where's material? There we go. Okay, so that should wrap that up for a little bit. We can dump the coconuts in there. We do need coconut seed, though, or palm seeds. Oh, no, get over here. Okay, one of you. Ah, uh, that there. Fresh water for it. There we go. And then that back into here. And I honestly think we are going to have to depart from here in order to keep getting wood for this. So I think if I can at least get this a little more built up and expanded. Yeah, so you know what, we'll try that and I'll go up and put down the antenna and see how it exactly registers now. I don't know if I'm going to need three, or if just one will work. It still says too close to receiver. I wish it was a little more just forthcoming in how it's supposed to operate. Oh, you bugger you. Well, we at least got back down in time, but... 
Yeah, it really doesn't want to tell you much of anything about how it's supposed to exactly work all together or spacing or anything for requirements like this. Bit of a pain in the ass, to be honest, but uh, we'll weigh anchor and just be on our way because we're probably going to just collect more wood in that as we go along. We don't really have anything to refine. Let's just get that prepared and going. Okay, so we are, well, starting to get turned a bit, but... There we go, so we're free of the island. We're not going to really do any diving. We do have metal in that with us. I should... It does say we need multiple receivers, though, so maybe we'll... S or antenna. So maybe what we'll do is just try to see exactly... So, circuit board and bolts. Well, the bolts aren't a problem at all. We already have two more in there, so the circuit board... I'm trying to remember what we need for that. Copper. Okay, so we will need to get some more copper, but aside from that... We seem to be pretty okay. Oh, there is wood, though, that I do need. Come here, you, and you. There we are. So, wood is going to be the most vital component right now as we work our way, or basically trying to get this receiver fully made. Well, not the receiver, but this setup done. I honestly don't know if we'll need all three, or we'll be able to make progress just with what we've got. exactly do I want to do this? Like, it could expand... Ah, uh, you know what? Let's go for another... Can't go for another pillar. We have to make some nails. There we go. Do one there. And we want the floor now. I'll see if that still says too close. If it does, then I really don't know exactly how big you have to make your raft for it. I, I really do wish it came with... Oh, a barrel. That was handy. I do wish it came with a little more instruction or information about just how big and... What you really need to do for most of this, like... It feels so odd it doesn't tell you it needs to be at a certain level. All it says is you need a certain height, you don't know exactly how high. And that you need certain distance, so... Kind of annoying. We'll try that there and see. Okay, so... Does that mean we are going to need three antennas all up at this height, all... Oh, Lord. Okay, this just got a little more complicated because I think we are going to need them all up to that height and expand it around. I don't need a rock. Honestly, I guess we'll just kind of keep drifting for a while and then slowly keep building ourselves up as we get the materials. So it needs to be one, two, three. So basically, I got to make... expand the second story out to even further. Yeah, this is going to take a while. Quite a while and a lot of wood. Thankfully, that is starting to come in pretty steadily. And that'll do us for that, I think. Yeah, that'll do that there. We have food, so that's not really a problem. It's just going to be the slow burn to slowly be able to expand out further. And I'm going to... Nope. Fell off the stairs. Right, do I have more scrap anywhere? I actually don't think I do. No, I don't. I can't make scrap from the metal ingots either. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to have to hopefully find an island that we can either stop by or get lucky with the barrels, which 
don't seem to be the case right now. Oh, you sneaky little bugger. And we'll also have to try to keep the raft from being too torn up by him. Thankfully though, with its size and with the extra perimeter we got, we shouldn't have any major pieces lost unless he goes out to the same spot twice in a row. But I think I need to make another chest. Okay, so storage is, oh, just a hinge, so that's at least easy enough. Yeah, I suppose we'll put you right here beside the other one. Just start loading you up with more stuff we don't actually need too much of. Ooh, we'll snag that barrel before it gets away. I don't really see anything out there, though. That's the only thing about Raft is that it kind of gets pretty monotonous. I mean, this time it did take a while longer because it was... A little easier to get onto the island so we could speed things along there, but now that we've gotten past that point, we are hitting that slow, slow grind again to get the materials we need. Okay, so... Uh, I could probably put some more wooden floors... Yeah, I can expand that out a bit, so... We'll just have to keep going on our way and just keep an eye out every so often on the horizon in case we can set sail for another island out there. That is growing up pretty nice and steadily. I actually don't know if you need to constantly supply that or not. I'll see if I can water it again or not. No, it doesn't look like it, so we'll just drink that to keep us topped up. Everything's looking pretty good, though. It is just, again, the slow... A lot of survival games usually include something of a bit of a material farm necessary, but... Most times... It's more kind of... You understand the direct impact of those things. Oh, come on, you. There we go. Like, take the Long Dark, for example. You have to probably material farm food, but you know the exact impact because that's one of your survival meters. You could say you also need to farm things like the coal or that for the forging that's included in there. Not sure why I had such a hard time thinking of the word, but you still kind of feel direct payoffs. Here, this is kind of uh, more luxury in a way. Like, it is to progress the story, but I don't know if there's much direct feedback you kind of get from going through and doing this. There is something a little cathartic, though, about just being able to cast out and drag in everything and seeing it landing the perfect throw. Well, that should be good there. That barrel will probably get caught. So, back to here. wonder if it would actually be better to pick these all up. Well, we got to start with the battery. Now we can take this. And this. And we'll put you in this back corner here. Oh, my. There we go. And then if we do that one there, it does say that's far enough away. So we may even actually. Yeah, we can't put one there, and we got to build out the pillars in order to get the room needed to be able to put the floors down again. Ooh. We'll snag that before it gets too far away on us. And let's see. Ah, potato and beet will toss in. We don't need those. We don't need that. We don't need that. So it really is going to be just certain materials that you can't readily get out here that we do need to stop at another island for. I wonder if I should actually make more collection nets, although they have been working pretty well for the most part, so we may be able to just leave them, but... What do I need for a collection net? Nail, but we need those for the pillars, so... Okay, uh, where's the next spot I could... Hmm. 
Okay, that may be problem, Matt. Oh, you bugger you. Now, at least we caught you early. We at least caught it early enough that stopped it from breaking anything else off. That there. Oh, this really throws a lot of stuff off of how I was planning to do it. Like, I can't put a pillar down somewhere here. Can oh, no, I can. Oh, hello, coming to help us out. Thank you. Oh, and there we go. We got into a nice area where a lot of stuff was all kind of clustered together. Okay, so let's make out the... There we go. The floor even further... Ah, so the floor cannot go over the anchor. I don't think we need to go that way, so... We are again just halted by the lack of scrap that we could use to make nails. But we can chop down the palm tree again to get more wood from that. And then with that, we should probably be pretty good on wood to expand outwards. It's just... Gotta keep an eye on that horizon in case there is anything we can go for, but not looking very good out there. Looking pretty devoid of resources. That there. Ah, you know what, we might as well hold on to the plastic because we're going to keep stockpiling it for a while. And then we got to replant the tree. That down, get a bit of that. Pour that in. And it might actually be beneficial for us to try making more crop blocks. Or more of the tree ones, just so that way we can keep getting wood pretty steadily. What do we need for those? Because they don't actually... Uh, ah, more nails. Damn, you didn't think it'd be that that was our limiting factor, but seems to be so. Okay, that can go in there. Ah, we'll get the rock out of this one, just kind of keep it together with the other rocks. Those we don't actually really have any use for now that we have the proper anchor made. I don't really have anything else to even refine with the smelters, I don't think. We have the vine goo done, we have no more metal ore, no copper ore. Yeah, that's kind of at a dead end until we can get things for that as well. So we're basically just drifting on our own here. I don't know... So let me think about this. If the distance is looks like about two apart, it might actually be more... Ah, you know what? We have the wood, so I'm just going to see if I can make the wood floor kind of go as close as I can get. There we go. So it'd actually probably be beneficial. I don't think I can... Yeah, I can't put one out there. So maybe put that right here. One more row. Actually, probably two more rows. But it, well, at least one more row. And then if we can see how close we can have it to the right side there. I see a lot of stuff starting to come along here. Plank. Barrel. Let's see if we can snag both of those. Another barrel right... A lot of barrels all of a sudden. Almost like we hit a patch of them. And that right there. Okay. And what excess can we put for storage? Some more plastic. Yeah, put that there. Yeah, it's 27. So wood is no longer the problem. Scrap is. See if we can just get that one. And we got another bit of scrap, so we can make ourselves some more nails. So put that in, and I'll just, I just want to browse. I feel like maybe we collected more scrap than that, or I could be... Yeah, I'm pretty mistaken. I am very mistaken. Okay. So, back to pillar. Then we can put one more down. I think we want right there. And that's what we want. 
Are you again? Well, at least you're always going for the farthest corners. Even if it is a pain in the ass that you take them. But it's much better than him saying, going after areas where we have stuff closer and starting to be built. Like, be real pain if he keeps going along the back end there. So if he takes two of those, then he may actually topple and get rid of some of the raft. So we can't put anything there. We need a pillar there. And we'll need a pillar down there. But we're very close to being able to test out and see how that's doing. Oh, I see a raft that we're coming up across. Well, upon. I'm not sure why I said across, but either way, it's basically right in our path. So we'll just drift right to it. Or at least close enough that it'll just take a little reorienting in a bit. So that there, that there, that there. We could, I don't know if we'll get lucky with nails on it, but we may get more things like bolts or hinges. Just one check, how are we doing? Well, we're actually doing pretty okay for time. We can go for a few more minutes, probably enough just to see what that raft has in store. And then reassess how we're doing. Yeah, that plank just missed that collection end. There's one barrel. Yeah, no scrap in that one. One scrap in that one, though. God, it's a sad day when it's just the slow... You're hoping for scrap instead of anything act Well, actually, I suppose it is valuable in this situation. I'm quite surprised that you couldn't do something like refine the metal into nails. Actually, I should check and see what I... I probably already used one of these in the research bench, but I just want to take a look and... Yeah, already did. Yeah, I know what I figured. Okay, put that back. Yeah, we'll paddle ourselves up just a bit. So we should basically run right into it now. I'll probably even just leave the nets collecting for a while because the only thing that we can really get in there is barrels, which will have the nails, which will let us progress. No, we did get a metal ore, so we might as well at least put that in there to refine. Oh, although the sinking raft is definitely spinning us around. I Forgot that could happen. And now this is a peculiar orientation for us. Oh, that was a mother load of it. Okay. So that should be enough to do some expansion. So right there was where we needed one. And right there. Now we can get up, go on to the here, and do that there, and that there. Actually, we can even expand that out to there, so that might give us some more room. Oh, the meters are definitely going down, so... Well, you guys, unfortunately, can't really see that where they are right now. Yeah, so it needs to be one more out in that direction. But if we do that... And let me see, is that too close still? No, that will work. That'll work there. So we are actually set up that we should be able to get this in just a little bit. We'll just get that going. Okay, so I've got my water stocked up. I just kind of had to find a place to put my face. So I apologize that you can't really see the meters in the bottom left there. I can tell you right now, though, we are getting very hungry. I should. Okay, I know what I'm going to do next episode of Raft with the face cam, though, is we're going to take my face from the bottom area there and move to the other side, because there's nothing that's going on there. Probably should have done that to start. My apologies for that. Don't... I thought I had some food already cooked up, but I guess I've already had it all. Well, thankfully, we have a lot of tilapia we can just kind of toss on to work through. So it's just... Uh, 
we may need to make another pillar or two. So let me see, it needs to be one more out. So let me just... Nope, I hear him. There you are. Ah, at least you're still going for up here, so you're at least helpful in that regard. We've had far worse sharks uh, kind of... Ooh, lord. Better actually empty these out, because they're looking like they're starting to get pretty full. Okay, there's those emptied out. Let me get back up there and see where we need to put... Oh, shoot. That's... Probably should have thought of designing the raft with a little more in mind that we would probably... Um, I think right there should do. Nope. I actually can get them there. So then, can I get... Oh, okay, we need one pillar out there, so... I don't have the materials for it, but we are pretty close. How are these doing? Oh, these are all cooked up. Let me get more tilapia on, so we can just start cooking those. Oh, the metal's done as well. Take that. Okay, uh, do, do you in there for a little bit more there. The tilapia we'll toss into there. Only cook as we need. Ooh. Yeah, this is a peculiar angle to be starting to get stuff from. But it is working out. Sort of. I thought we had a... Okay, we only have the one scrap. But maybe with the next barrel we get, we'll be able to... Ah, you know what? I shouldn't let this get too far along, just because if I let time slip by, it's just going to keep going and going. So once these are all cooked up, we'll just put everything away and end this episode here. Actually fairly productive when you compare how much we've been able to build out now. Oh, but there's more scrap, which I can use to make that, which I can now use to... Okay, so I need a pillar as close as I think I can get. So maybe right... That, that there, the pillar, I think right there. So let me do some testing. That's far enough away there to count. That's far enough away there to count as well. So I think if we can get this spot made here, that will be enough room for this to actually work. It will just be trying to manage and get the copper now and a few more nails in order to finish it off. So we are thankfully moving our way along steadily, and although we haven't quite gotten it finished, we are very close now. And the raft is... Well, look like a complete mess to the very back end there, but it's actually functional. It's functioning for now. So that's the most important thing. But we'll leave this episode of Raft right here. Thank you guys very much for joining me on our first face cam episode with it. I will be moving the face from where it is now to the other side of the screen so that we can see and watch the meters as well. But all in all, I think it was a pretty good episode. So, thank you very much for watching. If you do like the series or the content I make, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. I always want to hear back from... Oh, excuse me. Back from you guys for what you think of... Oh, Lord. I gotta stop this soon before I can't start talking. I want to hear from you guys what you think of videos, good, bad, critique, anything. I just like having some interaction with you. So, until I see you on the next episode of Those Survivors, please remember, as always, to take care and stay alive.